All right, you guys, so this is the point one. Uh, we're going to be writing equations to represent real life situations. Um, this is our, these are our standards, and then your objective is to be able to write equations and determine whether a number or a given number is a solution to the equation. Uh, and again, we're always shooting for a percent accuracy because that means you understand the material given the practice um, on your circle or your book. Uh, two new vocabulary words, equation is basically math statement that uh, where two expressions are equal to each other. So there are some examples, so 3x equals 18, remember, um, they have to, it has to have an equal, an equal sign, if it doesn't have an equal sign, it's just an expression, but if it has an equal sign, that's an equation, equal, think about that. Then 2x plus 5 equals 10, and then the solution is basically the answer. So it's the value of the variable that makes the equation true, okay? So two little sets of things that we have to do right here. The first one is to determine if a given value or a given number is a solution to an equation. So there are two steps for that one. The first thing you're going to do is, so basically you're going to be given that equation and they're going to say, okay, it's true that x equals 6. Okay, so we're basically saying, is 6 a solution for this equation? Um, so the only thing you have to do is plug in the values where you see x. So let's do that. And then after you do that, you're going to check to see the values on both sides are equal, uh, basically to see the statement is true. So let's check this one right here. So instead of writing x plus 9 equals 15, I'm going to raise my x there and I'm going to write 6 because that's what it's asking me to check. Is it So 6 plus 9 is 15. So it's true that 15 equals 15? Yes, check. So this is true, so this one works for that. Let's check the next one. So y divided by 4 equals 32. And I'm given the y equals 8, so I'm going to read the y there. I'm write my 8. And the question is... So 8 divided by 4 is 2. So is 2 the same as 32? No, they're not equal. So this one doesn't work. So 8 is not a solution for this equation right here. The last one is 8x equals 72. So I'm going to write this 9 there. Remember that's not 89. It's actually times. 8 times x. Okay. So make sure that you don't write 89. So 8 times 9, 9 is 72. So is that true? Yes. Check. Okay. So then that one works for that. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you one, um, one, a few to do right here. Go ahead and check to see if um, the solution for this is seven. If it is, say yes. If it's not, then say no. And why? We plug the five right here. Is that gonna be true? Yes or no? And 21 divided by x is six. Yes or no? And x plus 5 equals 13 if x equals 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and do those. Okay, so now this one right here. Um, this one is a little more complicated. Yeah, I know that you guys don't like usually more prawns, but this is actually a real life situation that you can use this um, skill for. So I'm given a problem where it says Marco and David score a total of 17 points. Uh, Marco, that's a 17, okay? That's a little dent right there. Or not dent, but like this little mark that war has, so it's just 17 or 170. Uh, Marco scores seven points, write an equation to represent this and solve to see how many points David scored. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a model to organize the data. And while you do that, then you can start plugging in numbers. So we know that in total, they score 17. So I'm going to write that there. Okay. Uh, and total means addition, right? So that's what I'm using addition there. We know that Marco scores seven points and we don't know how many David scores. So I'm going to use D for David. Okay, so that's my variable that's going to tell me how many points a David score. So the question is 7 plus what equals 17? Um, that's kind of like an easy one to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of jump you to the next lesson because you had eventually going to have to do this. Um, so you know that basically 7 plus what gives us 17 is 10. So then David scored 10 points. Okay, so I can say that David scored 10 points. Um, the way that we do this, you guys, um, is basically do an inverse operation, opposites, because I want to get rid of this one to isolate my D, the variable. And so to do the opposites, how do I get rid of the 7? I subtract 7. So when I do that, I end up with D equals 10. Um, D equals 10, so you don't have to do it for this one, but eventually you're going to gonna have to do that for the next lesson and for 7 and 8th grade. Okay, let me give you one to do for this one. So Millie bought five pence and she paid 
write an equation i know you guys can do this right away in your mind but let's write an equation write an equation to represent this and solve to see how much you pay for each of those pens and use p for pens okay so remember when we multiply you see the fyi we don't do this anymore um because that might look like a variable so we use um you know we're multiplying six times x we do six x okay Alrighty. god bless you you're amazing don't give up bye bye